What's up guys? It's springtime in my book officially because time change is here. So we have an extra hour of daylight. I love it. I hate when it gets dark so early. You cannot be productive outside. So we're gonna go to the laws and stuff like that and do productive work around the yard and maybe around the house too. So we're gonna start vlogging once in a while, once again. Hi kid, and what are we doing? Sitting in the warmth. So I got that vitamin D on me. Let's go, let's rebuild the <laughs> whole house. <laughs> yeah. I've, been, I've been doing these projects with my father around the house, like we did the bathrooms and stuff. Yeah, I know, and you've been doing really good. We just, if you don't know anything about the project, we look it up on YouTube how to do it. So awesome. Internet is the best thing ever. I'm over here by the bees. They should be flying around. I'm not gonna open it up, but I will be posting on the pet channel the losses and survivors really really soon maybe I'll film today and in a few days I'll post it okay right away I see a couple survivors this is awesome beehive right there it was the Vika's beehive but now I can see a lot of activity but activity don't tell me nothing I'll have to open it up just to see how they're doing and then a couple over here this one a little bit of activity I don't know if you guys can see it this one has a lot more activity and the rest of them I don't see much activity at all uh, maybe this one a little bit right there I see one bee flying in again you can't really tell unless you open them all up you know it's cool the strongest beehive I mean strongest activity is on my nuke that I split walk away splits and there is so many bees out here that's insane okay guys I'm happy even if a one beehive is survived because I can split whole bunch of them but you never know Subway rub guys first time do you like it? <laughs> it's mmm it's good it's beautiful I my vegetables limited time on it's so good okay guys I tried to go grass in here but dogs love to sleep in the shade here and it's hard to go grass in the shade so we decided to put mulch up here so they can lay in it but all that mulch would go into sidewalk it's so bad you probably seen it so this is why we bought this what do you call this curtain like yeah there you go garden border and we're gonna put a lot of mulch in here so that way it's gonna be mulch bed for the dog up here whoa why is there so much mulch up here guys love to dig i gotta spread that around that's so funny about an hour of work this is what it looks like now we're gonna go get some mulch and it's gonna be all done well guys look at this this is what it used to be of course there was no bricks from last year it's getting dirty and now it's fresh beautiful I think the dog is going to enjoy the bedding. They're just going to sleep in it, guaranteed. It's going to be all moist and cool. Instead of sleeping out there in the mud and the dirt, they'll sleep over here. Whenever they're outside. Right, guys? I know he'll be digging over here too. Assembling chicken coop, nesting boxes. Look at these dogs. They are so cute, always next to me. You can go to sleep. Why would you get up? It's kind of hot for them right now. They still have winter coat. Chicks are getting pretty big, so we're going to actually put them inside of a chicken coop. And I have here nesting boxes. They're not necessarily going to use them just yet. But because we're going to put all the pine store, but because we're going to set up everything for little chicks out here, might as well set up this really cool nesting boxes and the eggs going to roll away so we'll see if they're actually going to enjoy these boxes so. these boxes are pretty light helpful and boom super easy to set it up getting over there working too <laughs> And the dogs are. The dogs would stop. You know, the first thing they did, I started, and Hugo took a giant poop. Right next to me. 60 acres, and he poops right next to me. We got here nine nesting boxes. We only have 10 chickens, but I think it's plenty 
they can share I'm pretty sure from what I understand looks nice now we're gonna handle the light bulbs put the store in and uh, sawdust whatever and bring the chickens in okay guys next we're gonna dump a bunch of shavings what do you call it sponge shavings and then we have paste store and we're gonna mix it up then we have here pine store or whatever you call it seeding store just stuff like that and again I'm just gonna mix it all together next I have here premium pine shavings that stuff a lot more finer you see it because if I get that stuff especially on the first layer it'll be a lot easier to clean everything By the way, this is first time I'm doing this kind of stuff. Gosh, okay guys, this is what it looks like for now. I think I put a bit too much. You just need two inches, but you know what? First time it's okay. Instead of editing on for a while, I'll just be mixing up all the spottings. But yeah, looks super nice. I like it. Man, it is so much more chill in here now with all the padding and everything. It smells good. I'm just like sitting on this bar. I'm not sure what it's for. It's for chickens to spend. You just hang out on this little stick? Okay, well now I'm hanging out on the little stick. <laughs> While Taras is hanging chains. I would do it, but I think I'm a little short. I guess we can hang it over here. I'm thinking to hang food and water right next to each other. Yeah. So guys, this is where the food is going to hang. We put carabiners on and the carabiners to adjust it very easy to do it with the chain so that way they don't put all that dust and dirt inside of food and water. It's elevated a little and since they are still chicks we're gonna have two lamps out here. Whenever they can get cold, they can come up and warm themselves up. It feels feels warm out here, especially down here. Feels feels really warm. But it is going to be a bit cold, so we might wait when the night times is going to get at least like 40 degrees. So in case they get frozen to death. But yeah, this is our setup. Looks beautiful, right? I love it. Feeders gonna hang over here. They're going to hang up, hang out here, even on top over there. Beautiful. I like it. I love it too. You know, two years ago when we got this place, or two years ago, I never thought this place is going to look that beautiful. I really yeah, never I thought. I was so creeped out to come in here because it was so dirty and rotted. I thought it was going to be all spiders, which it was. But I never thought I'd be able to come in here and enjoy myself. Yeah. I think she just said gamma, 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 gamma. That's funny. Um, so yesterday I was going through some of our older videos, re-watching them. And I watched the house tour over again. And I saw Gamma's old cage. And it looked so small. I felt kind of bad. And um, I don't know if we ever showed you guys the new cage that we got her but here it is <laughs> hi gamma it's so big to can stand and walk inside and like stretch out in there i don't know if you can tell how big it is this is what i did with my father it looks so much better there's an accent wall a new mirror it looks good. Still, I would like to knock this whole thing down though because it's too skinny there. And we did the same thing with the master bathroom upstairs. See, very similar. Same lights, similar mirror here. And for the double sink as well. Before, there's this huge wooden cabinet if you remember right there and it kind of blocked the view and we really didn't use it so we took it down and we're gonna frame this b picture and hang it right in between there free range chicken upstairs 
where are you going? I know it's a mess, it's because it's temporary. Come on, Chica. Let's count them, see who else got out. Just one leghorn. Ooh, it can fly. <laughs> Do you see it? Yeah, they're definitely going to be big enough to go into their pen soon. Well guys, that's pretty much it. Let us know in comments below if you want to see more vlogs. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up this video, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.